All right, here we go. Hey, kettle corn cousins. This is uh, Mitch, your kettle corn cousin, welder fabricator at kettlecornsupplies.com. I had to think there for just a second. Uh, this is a table. You've seen many of my tables, but this is a little bit different. I've never built one quite like this. I wanted to show it to you before I shipped it off. Now, there's a couple of features that are different. If you look down here, you'll notice that there's no casters. Our kettle corn cousin out in Florida, Tino, want, called me up and he wanted me to add uh, do a little customization to the tables that he saw on that website, which I'm more than happy to do because that's what I do. So, several things. One, you'll notice that there's a different box in this. This is the Cambro box. The boxes are about 17 and a half. They call it 18. Uh, and he's actually going to use the 6 or 9 inch depth. This is one I happen to have here. So I could use it kind of as a guide to, to build it. So I built the table around boxes he already had. Now, the reason why I don't use these boxes all the time is, well, the boxes you see on my website, and if you look on my website, you'll talk, I'll, I'll show you about the, I can talk about the uh, plastic boxes. But when you burn them, or you have an accident with them, like this one, they're still made out of plastic. So when you have to replace a box, these are between, depending on who you buy it from, about $50 to $70 for a box, if you get a big one. Smaller ones are cost less. But the, and they're harder to find. They're not every store in your town can get it. My other ones, get them at Walmart, no problem, seven bucks. That's a little bit easier to swallow. So that's what I did. But he wanted something built around these boxes, which I did. And I did a couple of things. Uh, because I did that, I did it, and a couple other things happened. One was that now it is a 38 inch by 27 and a half inch table. A lot bigger box. The depth is still the same, nine and a half, but it's still a lot bigger box. This is actually volume wise almost the same as the uh, large table. It's not as long, but volume wise it's pretty cl getting pretty close to it. There's a couple other things too. The main thing he really wanted, well, I'd say the box was the main thing, but you'll notice that my uh, attachment system here is just a little bit different. I can quick release, and this pops out. Back in, this hits the lip here, so it's not gonna go anywhere. And you just hit the quick release, and it's tight. It's not going anywhere. Now, being that I'm a bicycle frame builder, I went into my uh, bicycling experience and I decided to use a bicycle quick release seat post clamp. Okay, let me show you a little bit closer up look at my bicycle quick release clamp. Alright, you see that there? Now a lot of people who aren't familiar with bicycle quick releases, this is a cam here. You turn the cam, and watch this open up and close. See how that opens and closes? That's what secures the leg to the inside there. It just grips it really good. Now you can, if it's not tight enough, you can uh, tighten it up on this side, but you don't want to use it like a wrench and turn it, okay? It's not a wrench and a bolt. You just leave this cam here, and you can tighten it up. If you want it a little tighter, either use your fingers or a... Uh, a pair of uh, pliers works fine and just turn it here just a little bit and then you're gonna clamp it and there you go and it's plenty tight for you it will not come out so let me put this back here all right so again that was the main thing he's got a nice secure cable and easy to do it's pretty quick I don't know how you can get that any quicker anyway just wanted to show you for it before I pack it up and send it out to Florida. Thank you very much. Talk to you guys later. And don't forget to be mighty. Have a good Christmas.